Welcome back to Shaw Spotlight. Today we're going to talk about one of Northwestern Ontario's favorite pastimes, which hopefully isn't going to be affected too much by COVID-19. We want to talk about fishing. I'm here with Gord Ellis. Gord, fishing is open. Am I right in saying that? Fishing is open. Uh, Premier Doug Ford said the fishing and hunting seasons are open in Ontario, that it was very specifically laid out that that was the case. Um, there was a lot of scuttlebutt when this started that, you know, activities like fishing, like hunting could be canceled. The seasons could be closed. And there were states that actually did. Uh, Washington had some, uh, say Washington had some closures. However, here in Ontario, we can go fishing and hunting. So that's underway. Um, but obviously we have to think about social distancing, right? Mm -hmm. like, right. Like it's a thing. With everything. With, with everything, it affects every part of life. It's no different if you're out on the stream than uh, if you've gone grocery shopping. So I think the thing to keep in mind here, Jan, is that um, when you're on a stream and you're fishing with other people, keep a rod length away. That's that's probably your best bet. It's it's two meters is, is what the government says, but most fishing rods are six, seven feet long. Some are a little longer even. If you're, if you're keeping that distance on either side of whoever's you're fishing around, let's say mm -hmm. you're on the McIntyre River in Thunder Bay where it's very popular fishery for steelhead right now. If you have, if you're a fishing rod length away, you're, you're good. You're, you're okay. giving people space. It's when people crowd each other. And this is one of the problems and this is one of the reasons in Southern Ontario where some community has actually closed access to rivers, closed access to boat launches is because traditionally the, uh, just the whole ethic is different and there's all just a lot more people crowded together. And they were really concerned that this was going to be a thing. So places like Port Hope uh, just just said you can't mm -hmm. access the Ganaraska River because we don't want crowds. Here in the Northwest, it's a little different. We don't have a we don't have that sort of tradition of people crowding each other, but you still have to think about it. Like let's say you, you've got smell fishing, right? Mm -hmm. You know what it's like. People tend to get a little cozy. <laughs> they tend to crowd. Um, you can't do that. Like if you're going smell fishing, you have, even though it's in the dark, you still have to be aware that you have to keep social distance. It's very, right. very important. Otherwise, you can still do it and go out, get your smell, do the whole thing. Uh, but you so just have to as long as you can find a bank to fish, this is bank fishing. So any yes. long, any river, there's the Cam River, the McIntyre River, yeah. there's um, in, you know, Nipigon River, there, in Port Francis, there's Rainy Lake. As long as you, any of those lakes, you can stand on a bank and fish. So we just have to remember that all provincial parks are closed. Mm -hmm. So you can't right. access them, you can't put a boat in at them, you can't fish off the bank. So those areas are closed. But public lands, uh, conservation authorities in the Northwest, as far as I know, I've, uh, they're open. You can put a boat in there. Uh, you know, the traditional spots where you can fish from shore, yes, you can go fishing. Um, but again, like, it's a little different in a boat. Yes. Boats are a little <laughs> trickier, right? Boats are a confined space. Even though you're outside and you're in nature, you're still in a confined space. So it's a little going to be a little different, say, on opening weekend, if you usually have five of your buddies in a boat, that's not really going to work. It's mm -hmm. not going to be within the guidelines that have been set. A, you have to have five people or less, but also um, if you're in an 18-foot boat and you have four people in there, it's physically impossible mm -hmm. to not be within the guideline, right? Right. To be too close. So you have to think about that. So I think what you're going to see this year is the people that you live with, your your spouse, your kids, that's, you know, uh, your partner. That's who will be in boats because that right. will be the safe bet. Um, so the, there, there are a few boat launches that, open to, uh, that are open yes. so you can launch a boat. Yeah, so anything that's not in a provincial park and, uh, you, you know, at this point right now, I haven't heard in the Northwest of any uh, municipalities closing boat launches. That could change. I right. mean, things change every day, mm -hmm. right? Things are changing every day. But so far, it seems like, at least in Northwestern Ontario, um, with the exception of the provincial parks, you can you can put a boat in. And then, of course, the other big thing is no, you can't camp. Mm -hmm. There's no camping. So yeah. a lot of things that we love, that we cherish in this part of the world, we can't do right now. But you can go fishing. And you can also go hunting, like uh, turkey hunting is open right now. We don't have turkey hunting in this part of the world, but in southern Ontario, there's turkey hunting. Uh, hunting's a little different. It tends to be more uh, just one person. Uh, there might be two people, but you're generally a long ways from each other. And the only trick would be traveling. Mm -hmm. like if you're traveling, 
probably your best bet is that you take a separate vehicle. Um, you know, I, I'm assuming if it's somebody that you're you're not living with that you're, you know, uh, right. Just for safety's sake, it's a fairly uh, vehicles are a confined space, so yeah. you'd have to bring two vehicles. But hunting is a little bit different because you're generally by yourself, and and there's there's a lot of room. You're not crowding other people. Right. And during this time, everyone's in isolation. So it is very important for people to get outside and to do something outside. So fishing and hunting is, is very healthy. You know, um, I'm a very, I'm a person that loves the outdoors and needs the outdoors. And, you know, I was cooped up for a couple of weeks and didn't get outside mm -hmm. and it was affecting my mental health. Like yeah. I was not feeling good and you get outside for a day and it helps, it helps mm -hmm. you. Um, right. Even if it's just going for a walk. I mean, I like to fish. I like to do that. But just getting outside is a very healthy thing. And, and it's, you know, as long as, you, again, with, you're within those boundaries, it's totally good. Mm -hmm. You know, get outside. Like I yeah. would suggest people do get outside, even if it's in their backyard, you know, just yeah. get some fresh air. But uh, fishing is a huge part of our culture here. And, and it is for many people. And it's also a source of food. Right. 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 Like a lot of us like to eat fish. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to go fishing. We want to get smelt or we want to get walleye opening opening day. So th that's the other thing to keep in mind that that's part of this. But it all has to do ultimately with being safe during this time, which is unprecedented. None of us, most of us have never seen anything like this before. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. it's just new ground. Yeah. So let's end on that positive note with right now we're taping this towards the end of April, beginning of May. What can people fish for right now? And on opening weekend, what can they fish for then? So right now uh, you can fish for uh, steelhead, uh, rainbow trout are coming up the creek. The uh, brook trout season is open for most areas. There's always the stock lakes. The stock lakes are open year round and those are lakes that uh, basically the government puts fish into and, and you can take fish out. Those are good lakes to harvest out of. And then on the opening, uh, the traditional long weekend, the walleye season opens and that's a, a big one in this part of the world. That's still a few weeks away. It's, it's coming closer, you know, it's gonna be here before we know it. And uh, it, traditionally, that's when just about everybody goes fishing or, right. you know, goes to camp or, or whatever. So I think that was still going to happen. It's just going to be a little different because groups of people that normally would get together might not be able to this year. Just well, because of what's happening. Exactly. And Gord, um, let's hope. Everyone's hoping that this will be over soon and things will change. We'll go back a little bit back to normal. But if not, then at least people can get out fishing. And I hope you get out fishing very soon as well. Thank you very much. I, I will. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for talking with us. You're welcome.